Hey, what is going on guys? Fire Guy Gaming here with another LSPDFR tutorial. Today what we are going to be installing is Grammar Police and Immersive Dispatch, okay? Uh, what this does for your game is it allows you to talk to dispatch through a microphone, making it way more immersive and just realism is excellent. So it definitely helps out with the role playing of the game. Um, in my view, a must have mod as well. So um, let's get into it, okay? Let's click here. All right, the first thing we're going to be doing is Grammar Police, okay? So what we want to do is hit download this file, agree and download. And we want to be doing 1.4.2.2 main file download. <clears throat> Should just take a second. All right, and we're going to drag this raw file up here. Okay, now immersive dispatch. Hit download this file. Agree and download. Main file 1.4.1.0. Download. <sighs> Excuse me. All right, see how this one's not a RAR file, it's, it's already a file, so we just have to drag this up. Okay, right over here. And then we're going to close out this file. All right, man. So we're going to hit Grammar Police. Now, this one's a, a, in a RAR file, so we have to extract it. Okay, so we're going to extract it. And you can use 8-zip, 7-zip. Uh, there's all there's a bunch of them. I don't know the other ones, but there's a lot of them you can. Without an application like that to extract it, you're not going to be able to turn it into a file. <clears throat> so here's our file. Grab it. Right, put it next to this one. We can get rid of this. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to uh, pull up our GTA main directory, okay? Now, most of you guys, it's going to be in your C drive. Mine's in my D. So what you're going to want to do is go to this PC, uh, C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and it would be in here. See, mine's not in there. Mine's in my uh, D drive. So I just got to go there for that. Okay, so let's, boom, let's go there. Um, so here we are in our main directory, okay? Let me make sure this is the right one. Yes, it is. Okay. <coughs> I'll make sure. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab Bram and Police. We'll drag it over here. Open it. Let's drag this one here too. So Get that out of the way. Uh, go into Grammar Police, uh, the Grand Theft Auto 5 file. We're going to click on that. All right. And we're going to grab all these files, drag them over, and drop them. Okay. And it's going to ask you to replace files. So you just hit OK. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Grammar Police I9 and see if there's anything we need to change. You want to go to Plugins, LSPDFR, and you notice there's that one down here. It's because it's in the Grammar Police file, okay? The default, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the call sign. What the call sign is is what dispatch is going to call you, okay? I'm going to make mine like all the other ones. Three, Adam, 20. That's my call sign. Now your call sign can be, uh, you know, anything from one to ten for the uh, the unit, and then for the, the um, I guess the area would be twenty. So you get one to twenty from then, and then you know Adam, Charlie, whatever you want to use, um, and then your push PG South one to one. Hold the talk. We're going to put this to true. Okay. Um, basically, what that does is. Uh, Basically what that does is um, instead of just clicking it once, you can hold the hold the button and talk as much as you want. It's, it's better for realism. Um, and your your dispatch menu key is going to be the, your alt key on your keyboard. Um, I have a keyboard on my controller, so I'm going to put mine to zero. Okay, like I said, you can put it anything you want, but that's what that's my preference. Okay. Um, Use generic response. Okay, I want to set this to true. And what that's going to do is, if let's say dispatch doesn't understand you, it'll just say 10 4 copy that instead of saying, I don't understand you. Okay, so show notifications, that's going to be true. Show player status, we want this to be true as well. Uh, target plate, true. Basically, like the target plate is so you can see the player's uh, license plate so you can run it. In your status text, POS X and Y, this one we want to put at 500. 
and this one at a thousand. Okay, that's all that. Okay, what we're gonna do now is hit, hit file and save. Okay, we can close out of that. Close out of this. We can get rid of grammar police because we're done with that. All right, off to immersive dispatch. And we wanna go back to our, uh, our main directory, okay? And then we're gonna go to immersive dispatch. Click on that, immersive dispatch. And we wanna grab all these files, grab them and drop them in. And it's gonna ask to replace files. Let's go ahead and say yes. Okay, and if you'll notice, when you go into uh, your plugins LSP to fire, you'll only see Immersive Dispatch. There is no INI file, okay? Not until you run the game once. So when we're done running the game, we'll come back and we'll, you'll see the INI file, okay? And then you can set it to whatever you want when, when you're done running the game. So these two are installed now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the game, close out on this, and I'm going to show you uh, how to use it. Okay, see you in game. Alrighty guys, here we are back in the game. Okay, so let's uh, let me show you how this works. Uh, we'll go and pull somebody over. Okay, first thing we're gonna get in the car. And so you can like uh, tell you want on patrol. So you like let me start my car. Now how I'm gonna go on patrol? I'm gonna go three at him. One Lincoln 18. Go ahead. And, and see when you when you go back in your INI file, you see how it says immersive dispatch one Lincoln 18. That's not my name. So immersive dispatch, I'll have to put three out of 20. Um, uh, show me 1041 10 8. 10 4 10 8. Okay, so now I'm on duty. Citizens reporting a 503 on a uh, Olympic freeway. Right, we won't be doing that. We're gonna go pull somebody over. I'm gonna show you how to run a plate. And uh let's push him over here. Son of a bitch. Right. Pull it over, buddy. Pull it over. There he goes, okay. Oh man, I took this crazy chica home last night. You wouldn't even believe. Okay. So now I'm going I've got somebody pulled over, okay? See how it's showing my target plate at the bottom there, the bottom left? So I wanna say uh three Adam. Oh sorry. Ten four copy that. Three Adam. Your car is the shit. One Lincoln eighteen. Go ahead. Uh, dispatch requesting a 1028 4-8 Lincoln Adam Howard 382 Howard or Haley Target vehicle license plate 48 Lincoln Adam Henry 382 Henry. A traffic violation Approach with caution Okay, let's see, see it's telling you everything you need to do So what we're going to do We're going to go right over to the driver's side Ask them for ID. Kiflum. Okay, he refused to show yeah, his proof of insurance. Thanks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, three at him. Ten four copy. Three at him. One Lincoln eighteen. Go ahead. Uh, request a ten twenty seven. I'm going to show you Jesse Crow's information, birth date, <clears throat> all that jazz. Okay, so you know that's basically it. You know, um, it's a great mod. It really does. Uh, you can call for backup. See, I can uh, call for code two backup. Uh, dispatch request code two backup. Let's see if it comes. Assistance needed in Rockford Hills. And now it's going to send me code two backup. You can do everything through immersive dispatch. We're in the area. Okay, he's right behind me. He's coming. And you can ask for a tow truck. You can call for an ambulance. You can do anything, really. Um, so, yeah. That's basically it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, um, you can join my Discord. Um, and it's be in my description below. 
Um, or you know, just comment, ask me, maybe I can answer some questions. Um, besides that, if you liked the video and it helped you, like and subscribe. Until then, this is your local fire guy saying have a good night.